What is up you guys? We're back out again. It has been way too long since we posted a video on this channel and I apologize for that. I've been out traveling. I was out of state a lot last week, but unfortunately I wasn't able to get out in front of the camera while I was out in Colorado, but we're back in town, back in New Mexico today. And now that we're right before the holiday, I thought it would be a perfect time to post another video. So it's actually a really, really hot day today, as you can see probably with the light behind me. I think it's probably going to be in the high 90s today and it's probably the hottest part of the day that we decided to come out. Um, but we're in an area that I like to come, the Tingli Bosque, and we're going to come just try to photograph anything we can. Birds, we're right by the pond area, so maybe beavers, turtles. We're just going to have fun with it. We're just going to go exploring and see what we can't find in this video. So hope you guys enjoy. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and let's go. walking on one of these trails over here and I saw just a big flash of white go by me and part of the bosque over here is still flooded and I knew exactly what it was going to be and it was it was an egret and you'll get to see that here in a second but right after that egret appeared it like slithered off into the bosque and I went chasing after it of course to try to get you know some more footage for you guys and then in flies a heron that I haven't photographed yet and that heron is somewhere on this pond behind me so I'm gonna try to go find it but so much is going on right now there's so much life next to the pond in the bosque right now it's amazing I can hear birds that I know we haven't photographed those are tanagers singing in the trees um, so it, this is a great start great start to the day we're just getting started moving around and there's a ton of new animals and new birds singing so and there's not mosquitoes. Thumbs up for not liking mosquito bites. So uh, we're gonna keep moving around you guys and see what we can't find.
This is the kind of swampy environment I'm talking about right here. The bosque is flooded out. The river is just on the other side of that tree line over there in the, during runoff. It flows into the bosque and turns the, the bosque into kind of like this little swampy area full of fish and crayfish. And that's why you have all these water birds that come into here and hide because it's so dense and it's just so hard to get to. I mean, look, that's the trail that I came in to get to it. Not a lot of people want to come back here and, you know, tangle with it, but that little, uh, little wood duck family was back here and so was that egret, but that egret wants nothing to do with us. Um, and he flew off right when we got back here, but we're going to keep going along this trail and see if we can't find that heron that we saw or anything else back here that's hiding out. The birds are singing away, so we're st we still got to get that summer tanager. Just waiting for that big glimpse of red in the trees and then I'll, I'll know it's there. But let's keep moving. Recording those guys is really fun because as a kid, I used to chase those things down like till I got them. Man, in our backyard, we had a mesa right be behind our brick wall. So those guys would always come into the yard. And as a kid, I can remember going into the backyard and just chasing those things for hours. It's cool to see them out here in the bosque, but I can tell you right now, if you are afraid of bees, today is not the day to be in the bosque. There's so many bees out. Let me show you guys. Look at all these bees. They are just everywhere on all of this stuff right here. When I was walking through this trailhead, I was praying. I was like, please don't let me get stung by a bee today. There's literally like hundreds and just hundreds and hundreds of them on these bushes that are surrounding the, uh, the ponds, but really cool stuff. We're gonna keep working our way around to see what else we can see. Check that out, you guys. Yikes. That fell right off that tree right there. The whole side of that tree pretty much fell right on the trail. Can you imagine being running right underneath that? Jeez, thankfully nobody was there when this big old piece came down. Broke off right there. That is nuts. Well, they're going to have to come out and move it eventually, but jeez. Sure looks, looks fresh like it just happened. Crazy stuff. Gotta be safe out here under these cottonwoods because they just spread out and they break off when they get too heavy. Cool to see though. All right, let's keep moving.
Well, as you guys saw, we finally had some luck. Man, it's been a hard day out here, guys. It is so hot, so, so hot, and the birds are talking, but they're not coming out of the trees at all, and it's been hard, hard finding them. Sometimes, you know, sometimes you go out and you take photos, and sometimes you go out and you learn, and today feels like it's been a day where I've learned. <laughs> um, and I'm not gonna lie, I wanted to quit there for a while, but I saw that bird, there he is, actually, I can see him right now. I saw that bird fly down um, from all the way across the pond. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to walk all the way back around and I'm going to go see if I can take a photo of him. And it happened. And I'm so happy I didn't give up. I'm so happy I kept persevering because I needed that win right there. Even though it's, you know, it's just a small little heron. It means a lot whenever you're out here and you're having a stroke of difficulty. But... Yep, we're gonna keep going for a little while longer, you guys. We still got some battery left, and I think a wood duck just flew in. Um, we still got some battery left, so we, we're gonna see what we can do with that, and then we'll go from there. Alrighty. Alrighty guys, I think that's it for me. It's a hot day out here and tough man. Like I said, a lot of birds talking, but not a lot that want to get in front of the camera. It's still really, really cool to see that heron and that egret, which are two new birds for us. So like I said, any day we come out and we get a new bird, I can't complain. So anyways, thank you again so much for you guys for coming and checking out the video. If you guys liked it, be sure to leave a thumbs up, leave a comment. I appreciate all the love you guys show, and I hope you guys have a safe and happy fourth, man. See you in the next one.